Okay. Okay. Hi, um, my name is Stephanie Niavis, and I would like to talk to you today about someone in my life that's influenced me greatly, uh, even when, uh, to be a better person, and reminds me to never give up, even when things seem bleak. My dad, over there. Um, in my younger years, it was easy to have fun, be carefree, and just make memories, especially with my family. Um, and we would take the trips to places like Disney World or Sea World. But as magical as that would have been when I was little, it was more fun with my dad because we could just both be adventurous and go wherever and have another reason to act like kids. And, and I remember this one time, we were at Sea World and we were on this ride called the Great White. And there was no line, so we just kept going through over and over again, and we just raced back to the front, and it was just so fun. Like, it lasted forever until we were way too tired and too dizzy to ride it over again. But those were the kinds of memories that me and my dad made together, and that was one of my favorites. My dad is the type that loves to have fun, Go on adventures <laughs> and discover something new every day. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I just can't look at him right now. <laughs> but he always knows how to make me laugh, though. Not just cry, but um, even when he doesn't know it. And he can always, always give me good life advice. And those are just some of the reasons why I love him. But um, as years pass by, I, I realize that he gets weaker and weaker, but, and he starts to visit the hospital a lot more than he's at home. And I could tell that it's knocking him down a lot. And, and during those times, I heard... Um, the word cancer being thrown into the air most of the times, but I didn't want to delve into it. I didn't want to ask what type he had or if there is even a treatment for it. I didn't want to bother them with it. I just wanted them to focus on him and how he could get better. The times got darker and reality set in how, how bad he had gotten. And this one year when he was at his weakest and he couldn't even walk with us the next time he we went to Sea World. He tried really hard to, to make it as fun as he could, but I could tell he was getting really frustrated because he couldn't do as much as he could before. He couldn't be, you know, that fun dad that loves to go on rides and all that. But this takes me back to more of a time a couple of years ago, more recently, when we had to go to Dallas. And we had, to, uh, we had to be there for a while because that's where his, most of his treatment was. And he would sleep most of the time when we visited, but when we did visit and he woke up, you could tell he was grateful we were there and that we were supporting him. And I suppose that's what helped him get through those bad times. And what makes me happy about it, though, is that he did get through it eventually with um, a better treatment and that's still helping him today. But before, when he was either at the hospital or in the bed most of the time, you could tell he was down, but he just never gave up. He kept persevering, he kept pushing through. And that's what inspired me and through my future troubles, such as I had back problems, and it got to a point where I had to wear a back brace, and I had to attend physical therapy most of the time, and it. And in those times, I got really frustrated. I got really angry. But then my mind would go back to my dad. <laughs> and how strong he was. And how I could get through it if he could. <laughs> but that's taught me a really valuable, valuable lesson on how precious life can be.
and to not take it for granted and to never give up and to just keep moving forward and that no matter how dark it might seem at the time, there will always be a light at the end of the tunnel. Thank you.